Sometimes we need to amp up our skincare routine just a notch, and it could be to combat various things that are happening in our lives. You know, it can be um, a change in seasons, it could be um, stress in our skin, or it could be sickness. So today I'm gonna walk you through my own amped up routine and the stuff that I'm doing right now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, I'm Mary and I'm 49 years old and I love finding things that help me look as young as I feel. People ask me all the time, what is the stuff that I'm actually using every day? So I went back and had a look at the skincare routine that I posted here back over the summer and I realized a lot of the stuff has changed. And while the categories and some of the product types are the same, most of the stuff is different. If you watch my videos or you follow me on social media, you'll know that I am an experimenter. I like trying out new things. In fact, over on Instagram every month, I do an empties where I walk through the stuff that literally I have completed and I kind of tell you, will I repurchase or will I not? So through this process, there are some real winners and things that I get really excited about. And there are some awful losers too, <laughs> I cannot lie. I actually have this little strange little rash here that I got that I'm pretty sure is from one of the new um, body lotions that I was using. But sure, it's just part of the process. It's one of the occupational hazards. So I do try to give these products a chance to see if they're going to work. Um, and generally you're looking somewhere in the region of about four weeks to really get through a product and also see the impact it's gonna have on your skin. I do believe there are certain types of products, sort of essentials that should be in every skincare routine. And then some of them are just nice to have because I do that too. And I'll tell you which is which as we go through my own routine. So I'm gonna go through my daily routine from start to finish. Now it's not gonna include some of the special things like masks, which I do a couple of times a week, or the electronic devices that I do, like my Myolift microcurrent, which I adore. Those will be videos for another time. But this is my day-to-day -day kind of thing that I did yesterday and the day before, and I'm gonna do diet tonight, tomorrow, and next week, until the products change and potentially something else comes in. But this is what I'm doing right now. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is a long process. I have a lot of steps. Now, it doesn't take that long when you're doing one after the other. However, I like to take my time. I kind of rest and I potter around and whatnot. So for me, this is the merry time, this is the pamper time, this is the luxury time. You know, even at night when I say I'm going up to do my face, the whole house goes, oh, because they know I'm gonna take forever. <laughs> but this stuff doesn't have to take a long time. It's just what I choose to do. So go grab a cup of tea, go grab a cup of joe and settle in. Now I'm doing both my morning and my evening, so together it's quite long. Now, if you want to move past the morning and straight to the evening, I'll put this timestamp here so you know where to go to. I'll also put all the details down below in the description bar. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I do every morning is wash my face. Now I do that in the shower, so I'm not gonna show you that today because you're not getting in the shower with me. Um, and some people feel they don't need to do this every day, but I do. It wakes me up, it refreshes me, it makes me feel like I have a clean slate. I don't use a lot of heavy, complicated products. There are two things that I generally use that I keep in the shower. The first one is my vitamin E um, skincare. This is the hot cloth cleanser. Now on the topic of heat, don't use hot water. If you take a really hot shower, then don't do this while you're in the shower. Just wait until you get out because it's really not good for your skin. Um, but I don't tend to like really hot water, so it's perfect for me. Um, even though this says hot cloth cleanser, again, don't use a hot cloth. <laughs> and I don't use a cloth at all in the morning, but I find this is a, this has a really rich consistency. Um, it's, 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 it's really quite heavy and it would work really well for a second cleanse in the evening. Um, and I do like it, but it can be a bit heavy for me. So I like to mix it with water and I I find it's perfect um, in the shower for that. So sometimes I use that one. And the second one that I use is by Eucerin. And this is their um, Dramatic Clean. It's a mild cleansing milk and it is super, super light, super, super easy and lovely. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. There's nothing to it. It's really light. And both of these leave my skin feeling super soft and ready for the day. So I always start with a wet face. I've just come out of the shower. I don't dry my face off. I leave it really quite wet so that it's better and easier to absorb the products. So I start with the toner, and a lot of people think this is optional, but I really like it because it really provides the right pH balance and it hydrates my skin. And this one is by Claire's, and it's super gentle, but it's a little bit thicker. And I like that because I feel it's just giving me a little bit more hydration and it sinks in really well. Everything on my face goes down my, ch um, down my chest, neck, and the back of the hands, everything. Okay, the next is we're looking at exfoliation. And, and I do think this is important. Not everybody does, they think it's optional, but I don't think it is. I think that's how we get 
get rid of the dead skin in order to replenish the, the fine skin underneath. I do a few pumps of this and I apply it to all areas of my face and neck and chest and I do this about every second or third day because in the winter months my skin isn't as resilient so I can't do it sort of every day that I would do in the summertime. Next I move on to vitamin C. It's another one that everybody should have in their routine. Um, this particular product here is by Elizabeth Arden. They're these tiny little capsules that have a combination of ceramide, which I adore, with the vitamin C. And vitamin C in general, l ascorbic acid, is great for brightening the skin, it's great for evening out skin tone, and everybody should have a vitamin C in their routine. I didn't actually mean to buy this one. <laughs> I meant to buy a different um, capsule from these guys, but, but I really like it. It is quite oily in consistency, which I love, so it's really nourishing. It might not be great for those with um, super um, oily skin, but it's a beautiful product and, and I do love it. And again, that stuff goes all over. I don't generally put it on the lips or on the eyebrows, although I think I did by accident. <laughs> but um, I put it everywhere else and this is a great brightening, brightening product. The next is my eye cream and at the moment I'm using one by Murad and this is a vitamin C and brightening formula. Um, I apply that to both my ring fingers and put that right underneath the, um, the eye and I actually tap it into the orbital bone which helps to kind of depuff. You don't need an eye cream, nobody needs an eye cream, but I choose to buy one, I choose to use one, and I love them. Um, now this formula is supposed to be great for dark circles. I don't really have any dark circles, and I got this as part of a kit from Caroline Hirons. I don't know if you're familiar with her kits. They are amazing, and they introduced me to a lot of new products I probably wouldn't ordinarily buy, but this is a lovely one. Next up is the mist, and I just use this mist at any time throughout the day that I need it, so keep it close to hand, and I, and I use it all the time. Okay, next is the first of two serums that I have in my daytime routine. Um, this one is from Zellens, and it was also a part of my Caroline Hirons kit. And I probably wouldn't have tried it if I hadn't seen it, but it is beautiful. It has eight different peptides to help boost collagen. It has hyaluronic acid. It has retinol and vitamin E and so soybean oil. Like, it is gorgeous. Now, it is hella expensive, so likely not to purchase again, but it is beautiful. It's 195 um, pounds for 30 mils, but I have to say it's gorgeous. Um, thank you, Caroline. <laughs> yeah, put that stuff all over and my skin feels amazing. Okay, the next serum is one by Derma E and it is their DMAE Firming Serum. And DMAE is a natural firming agent. So its job is to tighten the skin and it really works. I find this stuff is absolutely brilliant. It also contains an antioxidant called alpha lipoic acid, which fights free radicals. So this is a great value product. So far it's delivering great results and I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. It's great stuff. Again, it goes everywhere. <laughs> Okay, the next is, is the prize of the show. Um, my new favorite thing, I'm wishing it wasn't. This is the Rich Cream by Augustinus Bader, and it's what beauty editors around the world have hailed as the next greatest thing, and, and I have to say I don't disagree. <laughs> I really wish I didn't like it as much as I do. Um, it is made with a patented technology that none of us can seem to find out what that means or what it's made of, but, but it's made of a lot of really, really good um, ingredients that we do know about. It's got a ton of oils for hydrating. It's got arg argan oil, it's got avocado oil, Oil. It's got evening pr primrose. It has antioxidants. It has um, fatty acids like this stuff. And, and it's just my skin just drinks it up. It is so beautiful. Um, it's 225 pounds for 30 mils. Oh, sorry, 50 mils. Oh, so anyway, don't know. Got it for Christmas. Thank you, Santa. Don't know if I can afford to keep up the habit, but I do love it. And it's so moisturizing that I usually have some left over. So you can see I always put everything on, on the bottom of my elbows if I find I still have extra product on my hands. Now, ordinarily, I would go in with an oil at this phase but, and put a little bit in my dry areas, but I don't need to because of this formula. It's just stunning. I'm probably just going to have to not use it in the day in order to save it. Next is sunscreen. You have to do sunscreen. And for me, um, the one I use the most is this one by Elta MD. Um, it's tinted, so it doesn't leave a white cast. And it's beautiful. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Um, it has antioxidants, so it's actually good for my skin. 
but it just plays so well under makeup. And um, this is the one that I used most days. Now, there's a second one by Trini London that I use um, called the BFF Cream, um, and that's in an SPF 30, and I generally would only use that in the winter because it's not enough for the summer, but these are the two products I use the most. But this one from L to MD is fabulous, and I think it's about 30 pounds, I think, for about, I think it's 50 mils? It's probably more than that. Anyway, I don't exactly know, but I'll put the details, as I'll put the details with all of these products in the description bar below. And that's it. That's the morning routine. Over to nighttime. Okay, now we're starting with the nighttime routine. So I have all my makeup on and the first thing we're going to do is take it off and I always do a double cleanse. So the first cleanse I'm using a cleansing balm by Beauty Pie. Um, it's their Plantastic and it comes with a muslin cloth which is great. I'm not using it right now but I, I do use it on occasion. Um, it's a wonderful balm. It's It just melts away all of the makeup and I use the Beauty Pie double-sided um, cloth that they have because one side is um, like a flannel and the other side is a muslin cloth. So I use one for the first cleanse and one for the second cleanse. And you put this stuff on your face and it just melts everything away. It's beautiful. It's a lovely product. It's, you've got a good healthy amount of product in there too, which is great. And you just rub it all over. I try to get the rest of my face first because by the time I get to my eyes and all that makeup starts coming off, mostly the mascara, I kind of rub it and wiggle it down so that you can sort of the makeup falls onto my cheek because it's so much easier to rub off than actually rubbing your eyes. I try not to do that if I can. Um, but this stuff just melts it away. It's it's a lovely, lovely product and it's a great value. I think it's about 14 quid for 100 mils. It's great. So then I get a little bit of water on it and then I use that flannel side in order to remove the product and it just wipes away. It's fantastic. It's a great product. And then when it comes to the eyes, I try to just again wiggle it down. Now it looks like I'm tugging on my skin here, but I'm really not. I'm, I'm very gentle with it, particularly around my eyes because, you know, I don't want to make the wrinkles worse. Who wants to do that? <laughs> so you can see all the yuckiness. Ugh. And I go in and I rinse that off and I clean it and then I go in for my second cleanse. And then for that, so for that, I use the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. It's really good for dry skin. I put a couple of, pump, couple of pumps on that, and then I rub that all over my face again. Because you just really want to make sure you get the remnants of all the bad stuff off, the sunscreen, the makeup. So it's a very gentle and soothing product, and I've used it for years, and it costs, I think, 13 quid for that big, massive tub of it. So it's a really good value, too. So then I use the clean side of that um, double-sided cloth, which is the muslin side, to... Um, to get all that stuff off. So by now my face is certainly looking a lot cleaner, it's feeling a lot cleaner, and it is ready for all of the stuff that I'm going to put onto it now. So the first thing I do is, is my toner. I'm reaching for the Claris toner that I used this morning, and I like to put it on a little cotton um, round and then actually sweep it across my face because that allows me to know that I've gotten everything off because when that pad comes up clear, I know I'm good to go. And if there's anything left on it, then I may need to cleanse a little bit more, which doesn't happen very often. So this is more kind of a sanity check than anything. But it also, again, adds a little bit of hydration to my skin before I start to put on the other products in the skincare routine. That goes everywhere. Okay. Next is my favorite of the evening, and that is my retinoid. This is my prescription tretinoin by Dermatica. And I put two pumps on my fingers, um, and I apply it to my face, and I apply it to my chest. Now, I'm on a 0.1%, which is the strongest that you can get. It also has niacinamide, which helps with brightening my skin and protecting the skin barrier. And then I rub that in all over. Be careful not to put it anywhere around the nose or around the mouth, because that can lead to peeling. The skin doesn't like it. But I put it pretty much everywhere else, not on my eyelids, but I definitely go right up underneath my eye, and I do it all over my chest. Now, I can't do my neck at the moment, because it's too strong a formulation for my neck, so I do have something coming separately that I can use, because my neck just gets highly irritated irritated because it's too strong, so I just leave that alone. You know. Okay. And then next is my mist. I mist again all day long. <laughs> mist, mist, mist. Don't need to be in my skincare routine to enjoy the benefits of that. The first is my Genifique by Lancome, and I'm using this 
now in order to help strengthen my skin barrier because to be honest, I got COVID and with the winter, my skin has been wreaking havoc and I need to do a lot of extra work to put the moisture back in. I'm using a lot of antioxidants and a lot of things to help rebuild the barrier. This is a relatively new product for me. I've only started using it in the past week or so. Um, and I just find that it, it, it gives extra hydration, which is what I need. That's just everything I'm throwing at my skin right now is to plump it, it is to restore, uh, restore the moisture levels. And this is a beautiful product. Um, so I put that on first. Okay, next I'm doing my eye product. Um, it's not the same one I used this morning because that was a vitamin C, but I'm using an eye serum from Elemis. And again, I just find this super hydrating, super nourishing. It's not a step you need to do. For me, it's pamper time. Um, it's really silky, it's really soft. And I think just that sort of tapping motion helps to kind of um, depuff and to liven up the area. It's very soft. It was actually recommended by one of my friends and viewers. Thank you, Patrice. And I do really like it. Um, so that's the stuff I'm using at the moment. Next are my serums that I'm combining. Um, one is by Beauty Pie, which is resveratrol, which comes from the red grape. It's an incredibly powerful antioxidant. And I'm combining that with a ceramide capsule. This one is from Elizabeth Arden. And I put them together um, and they deliver um, all of the the protection and the ceramide injection that my skin needs. So ceramides are like the glue that holds our skin cells together. So it's like the mortar between bricks and that gets incredibly depleted, which is part of my issue with my barrier. And these products combined are just glorious. And my son's skin just soaks it up. It becomes quite slippy and it could be seen as oily by many and you may not need that much in one go, but this is just what my skin is needing and um, and seems to be really thankful for because my skin is in incredible condition compared to where it was just a matter of weeks ago. So I use these two together. Ordinarily, I use the Beauty Pie Ceramide capsules, but they were out of them. So I bought the Elizabeth Arden, which are way more expensive, but they're fantastic and I've used them for years. Okay, so after all of those serums, then I go in with my night cream, my heavenly cream, which I've already talked about this morning. I love it oh so much, too much. <laughs> we may have a problem. Uh, let's see where we end up with that. But for right now, I'm gonna keep pumping and putting it on my face and hoping for the best. And um, again, it's a glorious product. I don't need a whole lot, two pumps. In fact, I could probably get away with less because it is such a rich product. Um, by the way, they have a lighter version. It's the lighter cream, same price point and everything. It's just a lot, um, it's a lot lighter. So I think it's recommended for daytime usage for people that have oily skin versus this, which is used for people with drier skin, which is me. And I really couldn't say more nice things about this product. I couldn't, I just wish it were cheaper. <laughs> I put it all over and I end up by putting it on the elbows as well. Even my elbows are soft these days, which I'm sure is from this particular product. And then the last thing that I do at night is putting on the oil. Um, I probably don't need it at the moment because of the bather, but um, I do get certain areas of dryness, particularly because of tretinoin usage kind of around here and around here, and I like to put it under the eyes. I only take a couple of drops of this. This is by Oskia, it's the restoration oil. I was introduced again by the Carolyn Hirons kit and I adore it. I'm an oil person anyway. I use a lot of different oils and so far this is my favorite. This is very much going to be a repeat purchase for me. Um, it's light, it smells amazing and it just, my skin loves it. I don't know what else to say about it. It's glorious. That's it guys. That is my whole routine. It actually doesn't take a lot of time either of them to do when you're doing it. It just seems when it's really long when you're listening to it <laughs> or talking about it. But that's a look at what I'm doing every day, day in and day out right now. You can throw a few masks in there and a few other electronic devices and, and that's pretty much what I'm doing. And to be honest, at the beginning of January, my skin was a mess. It was honestly a mess. I was, you know, dealing with the stress of being sick and not taking care of myself and just coupled with the extreme weather. And now my skin is in fabulous shape. And I think it's because of these combinations of things that I'm using. Um, so that's it. I will make sure that everything is listed down below. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you're using. And if you have any products that you'd recommend or that you'd like to see me do reviews on, drop that stuff down in the comments below as well. And I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and that you'll give me a thumbs up and you'll also hit that notification bell so that you know every time a new video is uploaded which is every Friday. So thanks again for joining and I'll see you next time. Bye! Um, this is Augustina's... This is Augustina's... It's Augustina's...
is Augustinus Bader. This is the Rich Cream by Augustinus Bader. 